In 2018, the Richmond Tigers were once again on track to make the grand final, going for back-to-back -back premierships, only for the Tiger train to be derailed in the preliminary final by an American man who many ridiculed for his football ability. I'm Modal Soul Media, and this is the time that Mason Cox stopped the Richmond four-peat. In 2018, the Collingwood Football Club were on the march up the ladder after missing the eight the previous season. Nathan Buckley appeared to have conjured one of the great coaching turnarounds ever as the Magpies finished third that season. Such a turnaround can be attributed to excellent coaching, team selection, and the ability to have great players like Steel Sidebottom, Jordan Dugowie, and Scott Pendlebury at your disposal. But one Collingwood player stands out as being overly criticized for their ability more than any other. The big American, Mason Cox. A convert to the sport, formerly a basketball player making his debut at 25 years old in 2016. Cox struggled to get the hang of the sport with polarizing moments in his matches. In some instances, Cox would clunk a massive mark and then go back and slot the opening goal on Anzac Day in front of 90,000. But in other moments, he would throw the ball and forget the rules. Many online critics thought that the Mason Cox endeavor was a waste of time. And that just because he had some athleticism and was the equal tallest player to ever hit the field, it didn't mean that he was gonna be a major weapon for Collingwood in the future. Cox struggled to break into the side in his first two seasons, playing 11 games in 2016 and just 9 games in 2017. His disposal numbers were low, nor was he able to dominate as a ruckman. At 211 centimetres, Mason Cox was somehow still the inferior ruckman to 202 centimetre Brody Grundy. So exactly what Mason Cox could do for Collingwood was unclear. When taking a look at Mason's skills, it's actually hard to argue that he's a bad kick, as he nails a lot of his set shots with goal kicking accuracy around 55%. Mason does to this day, however, struggle with his marking ability. His work rate to get into the right position is usually all right, but the ball just so often would bounce off his hands. However, throughout 2018, Mason Cox had some matches where the ball would just stick to his hands, and as the media said, when Cox was marking the ball, Collingwood were almost unbeatable. From his marking performances, seven out of his top 10 matches in terms of his most marks in a game occurred in 2018, with a polarizing performance every other week where Mason just wouldn't have that much of an impact. But in six out of those seven matches, Cox would hit the scoreboard usually more than once. And again, six out of those seven matches, Collingwood won those games. So it was true, if Mason Cox could perform, Collingwood would usually win, despite the critics. Of course, as an American convert, only learning the game a few years prior to his debut, the struggles were still going to be there. Collingwood just had to capitalize on Cox's form throughout the year. Collingwood made it all the way to the preliminary final after losing their first week against West Coast, where Cox essentially had no impact with five disposals and then cruising past the Giants in the semi-final, where once again, Cox did not come to play. However, the Collingwood Magpies were now up against Richmond, the defending champions from the year before, and heavy favorite going into the match, spearheaded by their superstar, Dustin Martin. The Tigers looked poised to make their second consecutive grand final. If Collingwood were ever going to challenge in this game, they needed a full team performance, especially from Mason Cox. I personally remember giving Collingwood no chance going into this game, as their opponent Richmond were the ultimate final specialists over the last four years. Whilst they don't often come out on top of the ladder at the end of the home and away season, it's all about winning the final series, which they have done time and time again. Winning 10 from 12 finals appearances since 2017, including three premierships in 2017, 2019 and 2020. And in 2018, the Tigers had finished two games clear on top of the ladder. So this was Collingwood's chance to prove themselves as the best team of that year. A packed MCG, do or die, the nerves of the game would surely rattle players like Cox in this scenario. But from the get-go, Cox starts clunking marks, taking three massive contested marks in the first quarter. In the second term, the Pies have got out to a decent lead as the ball is sent to Cox, who clunks another mark before going back and sinking another goal for Collingwood. A few minutes later, the ball is sent to him once again, a contested mark, then another Mason Cox goal. And once again, a few moments later, 
an exact repeat, contested grab and a goal. Three massive marks and three massive goals from Mason Cox in that quarter. The Magpies are putting Richmond away early. As the game goes on, every ball that is sent to Mason Cox is taken cleanly. The big American was playing the game of his life as Mason notched up his personal best marking game with 11 for the match and three goals to go with it. Collingwood had beaten the unbeatable Tigers by a comfortable margin of 39 points on the shoulders of the big American Mason Cox. Now, Collingwood were on to the grand final against West Coast, a match where Cox took seven marks and kicked two goals. A solid performance from the big man. Now, West Coast did win that match by less than a goal, so to say that Mason Cox was all that stood between Richmond and a four-peat is a little disrespectful to the Eagles, who may have been able to knock off the Tigers on that day. But it must be said, Mason Cox pulled out his best ever game at the right time, being a major factor in knocking out the Tigers in 2018, as Richmond went on to win the following two premierships after. And the Tigers are still a very good chance to win the flag in 2021, so maybe Mason Cox could be credited with stopping a Richmond 5 Pete. As far as Mason Cox goes, his performance quality has gone back down again since, with many saying that he is only good for one game a year. In 2020, Mason Cox pulled out a dominant first quarter against West Coast in an elimination final where Collingwood won by just one point. So it seems that Mason is more than likely to pull out these performances on the big stage when it matters. What AFL story should I cover next? Leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. I've been Modal Soul Media. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace out.